What's going on, everybody? It's your homeboy, Popular Video Games here, chilling out, Max, now doing my thing. All right, y'all. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about GTA 6, Mission 6, Learning the Basics, my GTA 6 Mission Prediction Series. Let's get into this. Now, the mission starts off. Judy arrives at class to see Sasha waiting for her. Judy questions, Sasha, why do you look so giddy today? Sasha says, it's because we finally get to do the best thing about being a cop. Judy says, helping people and keeping the peace? Sasha pauses and says, oh, you're serious. Judy still looks at Sasha very confused. She says, damn it, we're going to shoot people. Sasha screams so loud that class stops and looks at her. Now, the teacher walks up and says, you think that's all this is? Sasha looks at the teacher. The teacher says, this badge means you're the only thing in society that's stopping it from being out of control. People are scared. People want peace, but criminals don't want that. They want to be the problem because it's easy. Making little bitches like you scared to walk outside. With us, there is society. Without us, there is chaos. It's only the best part. Shooting? Are you fucking serious? I've had men and women shot dead in front of me from the angels. The devil's kidnapped and raped a fellow officer last month because she wanted to be the top bitch around. I've been in more shootouts than you can imagine. He lifts up his shirt. 57 bullet shots through my body, he says. The doctors were sure I'm possessed by the devil, but it's the will of God that keeps me going. Going to fuck these little bastards up. Next time, think about what that badge mean, you little dumb bitch. Everyone looks at Sasha. Sasha looks at Judy and runs off. Shanks starts breaking out laughing. Judy yells at Shanks. Shanks says she deserves it. She's a fucking kid. No one else here feels that way about this job. We're all serious. Judy looks around the class and they all look back at her and nod in agreement with Shanks. Now, the class is called off for the shooting range practices. Now, when they walk in, Sasha is already at the shooting range. Judy runs at Sasha and says, where did you go? Sasha says, I needed to think, okay? A random kid said, you got told your place, bitch. Sasha turns around and says, you say something? And puts her gun down. The kid puts his gun down and says, I guess I'll break the new kid in. He charges and slams Sasha. Judy runs to help but is blocked by three of the random guys gang. Sasha manages to kick him in the chest, sending the boy flying back and then Sasha jumps on top of him and starts punching him in the face. Now, the kid actually starts smiling and hits Sasha in the nose, making her fly back off him. The teacher runs in and stops the confrontation. Judy says, aren't you going to do something? He attacked her. The teacher said, this is also a lesson. As a cop, everyone is against you. It's you against the fucking animals in society. You have to fight to be strong to survive. The strong live and the weak die. The shooting class starts. Judy isn't so good at first. Her shot makes the gun fly and gives her a black eye. Shanks says, now you two are matching. Sasha says, when she wakes up, I want her to give you one. Shanks stops laughing and the rest of the class looks at Shanks. Now, Sasha picks Judy up and the teacher says, well, you know, both of you look pretty fucked up, so why don't you just head to the damn nurse to get out my face? Judy says, they have a nurse's office here? And then the teacher says, don't be smart, you little maggot, medic, or whatever you want to call it. Just get the hell out of here. As they are walking, Sasha takes a detour. Judy questions, what are you doing? Where are we going? Sasha says, we both need a break from all this drama, and I want ice cream. Judy says, wait, we can't just leave the school. What, what's going to happen if they catch us? Sasha says, you're such a freak of goody two-shoes. Let's just get out of here for once. Let's be honest, I'm embarrassed about what that boy did to me, and you're embarrassed about getting hit in the face. So let's just leave. This is obviously not our day. Judy agrees and says, well, whatever, just as long as we don't get caught. And then Sasha says, you've never done anything, you know, against the rules, have you? And then Judy questions, well, 
being a cop, you're not supposed to. Sasha says, look, my older sister was a cop. You have to sometimes bend the rules in order to get your way. Judy questions, um, how far do I have to bend them? Sasha chuckles and says, look, let's just go get this ice cream. They both hop in Sasha's car and drive off. Now, they both ride uptown to a Blaskin Dolphins. Sasha orders a chocolate swirl. Judy orders a vanilla. They get their ice cream and sit it down. Judy immediately puts her eye in the ice cream and says, Oh, finally relief. Sasha just buzzed out live and I said, Are you serious, girl? I got way worse bruises than you and I'm not doing that. Judy says, That's because you're a monster. Sasha smiles and says, You know, with my sister being a cop, I always got picked on by the local gangs. They never really, I guess, liked me. Or maybe they just hated me because my sister kept busting them. All I know is when I was in school, I kept getting beat up. So I had to learn to fight back. What the teacher said was right. Judy says, it's not right. He, you weren't supposed to just get beat like that and nothing happens. Like, the police are there to protect you. And then Sasha says, but we're the police. Who's here to protect us? As they are talking, four men are seen on a corner. And five cars drive up. Now the four men start pulling out guns and start shooting at the cars. Judy and Sasha notice this. A big gang shootout starts. The people in the cars are the entities, and the people being shot at is an unknown gang. As the shooting commences, the unknown gang runs into a local store to gain cover and starts firing back at the entities. A lady in her 60s drives by and gets hit in her head and dies immediately. Five other civilians have been killed during the shootout. Two kids are hit as well. Three of the entity gang members are down. One of the unknown gang members is shot in the eye. Judy and Sasha are laying down in the ice cream parlor. Bullets are flying all through the top of the windows, killing three people inside. Now the remaining people alive manage to sneak to the back and open up the back door and run out. Sasha and Judy join them. Now they hop in Sasha's car and she manages to drive away. Stray bullets, five of them, fly through Sasha's window. Sasha says, I can't believe I'm alive. Judy says, just keep going, just keep going. They get back to the dorm house. They jump out and run to Sasha's room. When they get in there, Sasha locks the door and they hide underneath Sasha's bed. Sasha's sitting there crying. Judy hugs her and says, it'll be all right. Sasha says, no, it won't. This is the worst part about being a cop. So many people are dead. Sasha was screaming. Judy remembers what happened to her and says, it'll be all right. Now you know what we stand for. We have to make sure that doesn't happen to anyone else. Guys, thanks again for watching my GTA 6 prediction series. Now I'm doing these episodes three a day now. I'm also doing Flash Season 3 prediction series as well. That's going to come out tomorrow. Make sure to check that out as well. Make sure to like, comment, and follow me on Twitter for more updates on the series. Thanks again for watching, y'all. Peace out, and talk to y'all. Laters.